Hey, hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Country Boys RC. And today, we're going back to where it all began for me with RC racing. I've decided to go off the wall and purchase a new RC kit uh, online. Decided to try something different, something I haven't done in a very long time. We've got a big Roar race coming up. It's the Roar Region 3 Indoor Carpet Nash or Indoor Carpet Championship in September. And I decided I wanted to go race at it. Uh, the class that I'm going to be running is 17.5 Touring Car. Whenever I started racing RCs back many years ago, I used to have a TC4 from Team Associated. Was running Concrete uh, Oval touring car or uh, concrete, you know, road course touring car with the old brushed 21 turn motors. Car got destroyed in a wreck and I just put it up and decided I wasn't going to be doing that anymore. It cost too much to do it. Well, that's whenever I decided to try off-road racing and here we are now. So, I decided just to try something. Didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on the Team C 2015 or 2016 uh, touring car that we have out right now decided to go a little bit cheaper get a kit that didn't cost as much so if I decided I didn't like touring car I could always pass it along and you know wouldn't be out a lot of money on it so the car I decided to get it is a rebranded Again, rebranded Team C racing car. Uh, it was designed by Team C using the TR10 chassis and four-wheel drive platform that Team C uses and still uses today. Uh, Basher Racing or Basher RC went in, made a few minute changes to the car, made it their own, rebranded it as the BSR BT4. Again, this is the kit version. I picked it up off of eBay. It's a Hobby Wing, or not Hobby Wing, Hobby King. Uh, you can get it on their website as a kit or almost ready to run version. The almost ready to run comes with a Trackstar 17.5 with that 80 amp ESC. It's actually the same ESC I'm running in the two wheel drive buggy. Uh, it comes with a, a small 10 kg servo um, a cheaper low-end like fly sky style radio uh, pre-painted body as you can see on the uh, box that's the paint scheme that you get with the ready to run or the almost ready to run I decided I didn't want that I wanted to build this out so I got the kit version it's about a hundred dollars cheaper I uh, paid a hundred and twenty dollars for this kit shipped to my front door took about four days to come in the mail so before we open up the box let's go ahead and look at the specs on the back of the box and tell you what this car's got uh, again it is a roar proof chassis uses a roar proof body out of the box which is very nice to see uh, you've got a overall length of 391.5 millimeters width front is 185 millimeters the width in the rear is 183 overall height is 113 it doesn't say if that's with the body or without uh, wheelbase is 257.3 millimeters ground clearance the highest you can make this car sit is six millimeters off the ground uh, if you had the ready to run version it would come with the track star TSD99X 10 kg servo. Uh, you it, the RTR still or the re, almost ready to run does require a 2S lipo. It comes with the Turnigy Trackstar 80 amp turbo censored brushless ESC, which is roar approved, which is in that two wheel drive buggy behind me. The motor is that Turnigy Trackstar 17.5 censored brushless motor it's also roar approved i actually used to run that motor in that buggy uh looking at the back of the box this is the layout for the rtr version so there you can see that uh track star motor and esc combo there 
uh, the servo sits right there and then your battery sits over here on this other side so let's see anything on this side or this side no uh, there's a better idea of what the ready to run body would look like if you did get that kit or that version so let's go ahead and open up the basher racing bsr bt4 first thing out of the box you get is your instruction booklet with some servo tape and your radio antenna very long radio antenna i mean this thing's the in almost the entire length of this plastic bag we'll be cutting that way down because we won't need that long of a antenna tube next thing out is this body clear body with the kit you got your decals your window mask your rear spoiler is back here on the back of the body with the mounting hardware for it what I've seen online with this body this body does not hold up very well at all to crashes uh, some of the guys that's posted pictures of it one crash it's cracked the entire front of the body completely off over one of the wheels and when I say cracked it off it's broke apart it's not just cracked it shatters like plastic so this is just going to be a temporary body i'm going to order a new one to take the place of this one for that roar uh carpet race so there's the clear body probably just going to do this white plastic dip something simple uh just so i can get out have some fun on the parking lots with it and learn to drive this car so there's that next thing you get is this beautiful it says fiber chassis, uh, but it's more of a sandwiched fiber composite chassis. Uh, it's not true carbon fiber. Uh, let's see. You do have a, one of those fiber composite upper decks that go with it. All of the screws on the screw holes on the bottom of the chassis are countersunk screws. So very nice. So no snagging on carpet or anything tearing up the carpet at these tracks because these tracks carpet is very expensive and they do not like to see screws hanging down anything that's going to run the risk of tearing up their tracks so really nice to see that set that over here to the side first thing we've got out of the box is it says bag g uh these aren't going to be in any order guys they're just all mixed up in here from shipping i guess uh bag g looks to be your front bumper it is a foam front bumper looks to be your body mount some body clips some countersunk screws and the uh, upper and lower parts of the bumper to hold it to the chassis next thing you get bag b this is your drive belt you get two drive belts uh, you get your looks to be shock towers front and rear shock towers and they are that same composite material as the chassis you get your 83 tooth 48 pitch spur gear 48 pitch is kind of an oddball to see in a an on-road car most of the time you see 64 pitch gears because they're a little bit more consistent and a little smoother from what i've heard I've always run 48 pitch. That's what we're going to stick with. Uh, looks to be your metal motor mount there. Some other various random mounting pieces. There's your front and rear diff mounts for this car. Next thing we get is bag A. This is your diff assembly you have a gear diff for the rear and you have a solid front spool for the front uh it is plastic gears on the inside of that uh rear diff i've talked to a couple guys who's run this car they run mod motors five and a half six and a half turns they have no issues with those plastic gears failing on them and they run them on ovals and road courses so we'll see how that handles um it's got some silicone diff oil in it it says 5000 this oil and the shock oil that comes with this will both get tossed out i'm going to use my own so i can get it to what i need it to be for my setup so there's that 
bag H. This is just some random pieces. This you got your uh, Velcro battery strap, your battery holders, looks to be your wheel nuts, body pins. Is that a... Looks to be your servo mount. It looks like it's a floating servo. We'll have to see what that looks like in when we get to the build on it. So there's that. Next bag is bag E. This is your drive line, 12 millimeter plastic hex, uh, wheel hexes, steering knuckles, uh, front C hubs, rear hubs, all of that's in this. One good thing that this car does come with is CVDs front and rear, so you do not have to worry about dog bones popping out uh, during a hard impact and not being able to finish the race. So that's really nice to see. Ball bearings throughout, no bushings, real good. Bag F, this is your shock assembly, which looks like the supplied 300 whatever CST, 300 weight uh, shock oil. It's got to be 300 CST because that's real watery. Um, it has leaked inside the little bag it comes in, so that bag automatically will just get tossed out. Don't feel like going through that, digging out that mess. Uh, your shocks are aluminum threaded body shocks. They come with uh, aluminum shock caps, but they are two-piece shock caps. They've got that little plastic uh, insert that goes through the shock cap to mount it to your shock tower, to the pillow ball, whatever, however it mounts. Your pistons that come with the shocks look like they are held on with Eclipse. Eh, stupid Eclipse, really don't like that, but... We'll have to see how easy they go together. The shocks are not 12 millimeter shocks. Um, so we'll have to see what diameter they are. They look like 10 millimeter. I've got some old shock pistons we can put in this probably and make it work. They do have the little rubber bladders. So they are, uh, they're not emulsion shocks, which is a good thing. So there's that. Next bag is bag C. That looks to be your suspension arms. The front. Uh, let's see what I was on this. Looks like it's got your little suspension arm holders. The A, B, and C, or the A, B, C, and D blocks uh, in here. Hinge pins again more set screws so you can adjust your droop real nice to see what all do we have here bag d looks to be some turnbuckles more ball bearings servo horns plastic servo horns i've got a metal one that i'll be putting be using looks to be a couple more chassis braces and some aluminum parts probably your uh, steering assembly arms or something to hold off or you stand off for your steering assembly so that's nice we'll just leave that in the box white dished touring car wheels they are 12 millimeter hex uh, real nice you know nothing fancy they don't have any name brand on them you know much more or anything like that so we'll order another set of wheels and tires just so we'll have something that roar race is a spec tire event uh we'll be running uh gravity rc type c slick tires i don't know if the if bush river raceway in columbia south carolina will allow sticky kicks to be used if not we'll just you know have to figure something out that will work at that track uh they said they think sticky kicks will work and won't affect their compound on the track, but they have to do a small test just to see. So that's that. One good thing that you do not see a lot with touring car kits is wheels and tires. Most of the time you get them as sliders. 
um, with no body, no wheels, no tires. Uh, you have to purchase all that separate. This one comes with slicks. I do not know what compound or what rating these are. I'll have to look and I'll just post it in the description below uh, what rating these tires are. They do have foam inserts with them. Don't know how well they'll hold up. They just say BSR on the side wall, so no Sorex or much more slicks, which is, you know, would be nice to see in a kit. But we'll order some and uh, use these as just practice tires in the parking lots, learning to drive this car. So that is everything, guys. Uh, you know, not a big deal with this one. A lot of parts got to be put together. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a build video with every step or if I'm just going to do build updates throughout the, you know, as I get certain parts done. Uh, we'll just see. We may do it like that because that's how I did that two-wheel drive buggy and it went real smooth, real easy. Uh, didn't have to worry about messing up on camera and having to edit a lot of stuff out and fast forward through a lot of builds. Don't want to keep you guys watching boring videos. Want to keep it quick, to the point. Boom, 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 boom. You know, don't want to bore you guys with long, boring videos like that. So, we'll just see how we're going to do that. Uh, stay tuned for the giveaway that we're going to be doing. I haven't decided what it's going to be yet. I'm still working on that. Uh, again, it may be a set of tires from uh, Raw Speed. Uh, maybe some Sticky Kicks Traction Compound. It could be something random out of the shop that I've got just lying around. I want to give away to somebody. Who knows? We'll get to that when it gets here. I'm still working on that. Again, stay tuned. Uh, look on the Facebook page for you know updates on that and for any new updates in the shop. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, Click on the like button, subscribe. If you're not getting notifications on when we have a new video uploaded, click on the little bell in the upper uh, part of the screen. Click on get notifications, and as soon as I get a video uploaded, you'll get an instant notification saying Country Boys RC has uploaded a new video. That way you can go watch it right then, and you don't have to scroll through uh, all the videos just to find our newest video. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you guys on the next one.